about 6 a.m. on July 20th, a large explosion occurred in Dengfeng City, Henan Province, at the Deng Dian Group aluminum alloy plant. Large amounts of fire and smoke can be seen on site, like the mushroom cloud from an atomic bomb, and strong tremors can be felt in a 50-kilometer radius. Local netizens said that the glass of some houses several kilometers away were shattered. Officials said the explosions happened at the same time. However, according to the videos on the web, there were multiple explosions on site. Mainland official media reported on the matter, but the focus is on maintaining stability and highlighting the actions of leadership, such as the prompt arrival on site, organization of on-site disposal, evacuation of the masses around the plant, handling the aftermath in an orderly manner, and so on. Surprisingly, the official media said that, at present, there are no casualties and missing persons. So how did the explosion happen? According to mainland media, at about 4 a.m. that day, near the location of the incident, the water level at Ying River rose sharply and exceeded the warning level, causing the collapse of the perimeter walls around the plant, filling it with water. The company immediately shut down the power and safely evacuated all personnel. Around 6 a.m., water reached the alloy tank containing high-temperature solutions, causing the explosion. Shanghai Non-Ferrous Metals Network said the plant has shut down after the explosion, concerning production capacities of more than 40,000 tons. This explanation is very suspicious and raises many points of doubt. First, if the explosion was caused by flooding, did the plant take into account the scenario of floods when it was first built? Has there been a similar situation before, and have they practiced safety drills or have precautionary measures ready? Second, the water level rose and managed to destroy the walls and flow into the plant within two hours. Has the Henan Flood Control Unit issued any prior warnings? Who should be held more responsible between the plant and flood control? Third, after the water reached the plant and workers were evacuated, the professionals should know that an explosion will happen if the floodwaters continue to spread into the plant. Therefore, did company management abandon the plant and allow the explosion to happen? Or does this show that the company simply did not have any response measures in the face of such events? And finally, with such a large explosion, how can there be no casualties or persons missing? The official media used the words at present, so does that mean they will release the actual numbers later? The official media said that Dengfeng City is currently carrying out a citywide flood safety inspection and rectification. If that's the case, then was Deng Dian aluminum plant skipped over during this big inspection, or did the incident occur before it was their turn to be inspected? What exactly is the use of this kind of inspection and remediation? Mainland and overseas netizens have mocked the Chinese Communist authorities online, saying that this must be the work of foreign forces. Many people lamented that the frequent explosions are like firecrackers for the party's celebration. On June 13th, the big explosion in Shiyan city of Hubei shook the top levels of the CCP. In order to protect the atmosphere of the party celebration, the higher levels asked the lower levels to curb serious accidents. Hubei province as well as the rest of the country have started safety inspections. However, explosions continue to happen. In recent months, mainland China has seen many murders, safety and traffic accidents, accidental disasters, and more. Last month, a large hailstorm fell in Yanqing district of Beijing during a party celebration. These disasters almost seem to be directly related to the CCP's philosophy of struggling against the heavens and deviating from tradition. Netizens jokingly said, if you examine something carefully, you'll find out that natural disasters are man-made disasters, pretty constructions are tofu drags, Chinese patriots have foreign citizenships, pretty men and women are bandits and prostitutes, and the root of all problems lie at the top. The Chinese Communist Party boasts of its achievements in governing the country, but the reality exposes the current state of construction, security, and human rights on the mainland. When the flood season came, many cities across the country were able to see the ocean, and even subway stations in Beijing were leaking water. Floods have turned hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people, into disaster victims. The world's second largest economy can send rockets into the sky, yet their drainage systems are not working, milk powders and vaccines are unreliable, natural gas pipelines and chemical plants are full of defects and hidden dangers, 
and everything is at the cost of the people's lives. Yet the CCP still has the face to boast that it has created these miracles and that it wants to create a community of shared future for mankind. This is truly terrifying. The current chain of events is a warning to all CCP officials and those who still believe in the CCP. If you continue to follow the CCP, you'll never learn the truth and you'll never be safe.